pretty sure I'm still in Arizona somewhere. I actually have like 300 more miles to drive. Um, but the roads were like super, super crazy. Like traffic was, was really hectic and it's like 4.30 in the morning here. I decided I, I needed to like take a break before I even like attempt to drive that road. Um, basically, mostly just to wake up and uh, to fill up gas and uh, to throw some trash away in my car and um, to pee. Oh, another thing, Arizona, home state of Chester Bennington. You don't know who Chester Bennington is, he's, he's worth wikiing or Googling or both. Anyway, I'm gonna head back into the car. I'm going to head out of here, hopefully grab some food here in the next couple of hours before we hit LA. I am thinking about um, about four more hours, three to four more hours. You won't see that in Indiana. Still in Arizona. I had to pee really, 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 really bad. I think I'm still a couple hours from LA. But uh, just taking the scenery though. I think that's really cool. I mean, you can kind of see in the background, there's like a cactus over there. Um, lots of like desert area. Uh, Again, I don't know if those are mountains or really big hills over there in the back. Uh, they're basically just like these, though, all along here. I guess if you're really concerned about it, we'll have a vote. You can, uh, you can comment on the video, and if those are hills, say hills. If you say they're mountains, go ahead and say mountains, and we'll tally it up at the end. Uh... That's a trash can. What I'm gonna be doing is maybe taking a nap for 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, again, I drove straight through the night. I uh, drank energy drinks one after the other. And I went and urinated all the chemicals out not too long ago, so I can slow down the pace a little bit. I don't have to pursue the LA so aggressively. So yeah, I'll just take a break here and continue on uh, about 15 minutes or so. of trees um, like driving from Indiana to here slowly watching like the types of trees change per region or state I want to say that that the, you kind of first notice the change of trees uh, somewhere around Texas because you look at the trees there and you're like eh, I mean they're they're close enough to being to, to looking like the same types of trees that you find in the Midwest but not quite the same, they're sort of different, and from Texas, the further west you move, you kind of just watch, you know, it just gets kind of like really dry, you get like the real desert kind of um, plants and brush, uh, and then desert trees, and these, like, these other types of trees just kind of like, you know, throw themselves in the mix, and you don't really notice it until you get to more like California-esque territory um, and then you get more like the, the palmy things that you you see around you and that's 
pretty much like the only type of tree you're gonna see for a long while. At least while you're in Southern Cali. While I'm here, here at my grandpa's place for a bit, um, I don't know if I'm going to do any exploring, but um, definitely we'll keep you guys up to date. Yeah. Did you film them like protesting? I did. I did film them protesting. Like it was normal to do here. My me familia get to check out little Tokyo. Does this subway offer like squid and octopus and other fine rarities? That was a joke. Ebisu! Sushi Kumasa. Aristocrat. Oh, aristocrat. Are you trying to say anything with a Japanese accent? You can say anything in a Japanese accent and it'll sound right. Okay, that was probably stretching it. A revolving sushi bar? Is that an all you can eat sushi? Revolving sushi bar. All plates, two dollars each. Oh, nice. I love Pinkberry. Oh my gosh. The last time I had a Pinkberry was in New York. I love the system here because you pay a flat fee and then you fill the cup up. No, oh, that's they not weigh it. it here? So, um, like if you go to Yogurtland or Vinci's, um, um, you, you fill up yourself and then they weigh it and then you pay it. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is everywhere. everywhere. No, this one not. Right? No, this you pay you pay first and then you fill it. Oh, you fill it. No, yes. they, they fill it for you though. Well, I mean, I you still get way more for your money here than you do anywhere else. You're filming, aren't you? Is that a stimulating conversation to film? I like those banners over there too. Those are kind of cool. A is really good. That green tea donut, it's filled with like cream inside. It's delicious. Sanrio. Ah, oh, all these little Hello Kitty and Cool Penguin. Well, actually, it just looks like Hello Kitty. This is it. Wakasaya. Is that is that the bowl? The bik bikuri don? Yeah. If you could finish it within 15 minutes. Free if you can finish it within 15. Okay, $50. You sabotage me. You made me eat this donut before coming here. I told you there was a donut. I didn't say you should eat it. Is it literally like that big or? I have no idea. I never ordered it before. I just heard of it. My friend showed me. I was like, man, I want to see who's filming it now. Is it really spicy? For those worry about bad fat. Oh. There's a lot of rice stuff. Can you finish all that? You gotta drink the soup too. It's like a soup base or something. I, I'm tempted to take that challenge. Because it honestly, it doesn't look like it's that much to be honest. How big it is. I mean, you don't understand. I come from the Midwest. There's buffets everywhere. I all you can eat all the time. I didn't sabotage you. You were from the Midwest. You can all you can eat. So well, I have to save this for another time, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to enjoy myself while I'm out today. I don't want to destroy your toilet either. <laughs> These more Japanese type shoes.
No way, you said 30% off? They sell Toms here. Awesome. I actually can kind of see myself wearing some of this. Ooh. Well, this is Little Tokyo. That's it. What's What's good to eat here? The sushi. The sushi the is good. The sushi and the ramen. Oh, they have really good shaved rice at this one. Like, on Shave. What's shaved rice? Shaved ice. Oh, shaved ice. Dude, yes. Got your the, the wasabi here is different from back home. Like, if you'll notice, or I don't know if you're any sushi enthusiasts back there, but back in Indiana, the sushi you find, it's like creamy, like almost like toothpaste, but here, it's chunky. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the authentic stuff, like the way sushi, uh, wasabi is supposed to look. And it's really, really strong. You missed it. We didn't have the camera rolling, and I was taken aback by like how strong the wasabi was and I coughed real loud and distracted people. Can you smell it? The wasabi? Yeah. One of those cases where smell of vision would have come into handy because apparently you can smell the wasabi from my breath. <laughs> that was it? <coughs> That wasn't <coughs> on purpose. <laughs> it surprised me again. It's strong. Are you filming it the long way? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I was when trying you... to capture your head and that. Oh. So. Did you start long or did you start this way? I started this way and then I went this way and then I'm going back this way. Okay. Because the video will do the same thing when you switch. It doesn't automatically rotate. Oh, okay. Yeah, come in. You want to come in? What's that? Check it out. Check me out. I mean, the sushi out. I'm satisfied. I don't remember going to Thai either. I remember it was a great year. Yeah. <laughs> she can't find where she parked. <laughs> It's okay, Tina. I had to walk off that sushi anyway. Sixty-two thousand nineteen miles. That's the final mileage for getting to LA. Hi, I just finished parking my car. Here we are, six months later. Originally, I had planned to finish this trip as soon as I moved here, but I just got so caught up in things and. Well, long story short, it is March, and we're gonna wrap things up now. You can't see the sky at all tonight, which is not common. Even in LA, you know, like with the street lights everywhere, you can still see the sky normally. Like, I can see stars and the moon and stuff, but tonight, not the case. It's all, I, I don't know if that's smog or clouds or if it's just like, a city-wide 420 right now, I have no idea. All right, so to catch you guys up to speed, I have moved to the neighborhood of Hollywood. And this is my apartment. I'll go ahead and introduce you guys to my roommates. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? I'm gonna go in my room. Alright, you two, try to keep the zoo noises down to an appropriate level. <laughs> Alright, so I said I would add up the gas prices, and I did. Gas ended up being $464.79. Uh, the final mileage minus the uh, 59016 59016. Haha! <laughs> Look at that rote memorization. So you take the final mileage minus 59,016 miles, you end up getting 3,003 miles. I even went one step further. 
I uh, calculated how much each mile costs. And it just kind of blows my mind because it's actually 15 and a half cents per mile. I'm just mind boggled, or it, it boggled my mind. My, my brain exploded when, when I learned that. I didn't think like each mile would be so cheap, yet in the end end up being so expensive. But yeah, that's how much the trip ended up costing. I've got to say, these past six months have been quite an adventure. And with it being LA, there's a lot more adventure to come. I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on anything exciting and relevant. Until then, peace. And this concludes the cross-country trip 2013 slash now 2014. See you in the next one. Say bye. Say bye to the audience. Bye. Have a good night. Wait, so like, what were you recording? Thoughts and words and